Good morning everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the GMA Now, which is a small device that plugs into your Android phone and lets you watch live TV. Now you do not need any Wi-Fi, you do not need any data, mobile data. It's completely free to air using the included antenna. You get the small dongle itself, you get this antenna which is just useless basically throw it away and then you get this antenna the extendable whip and this is the one that you want to be using you also get a small adapter which converts micro usb into type c once you complete the registration form it will begin scanning for channels now my recommendation is that you take your cell phone outside and you scan for channels there so it finished scanning and it found around 35 channels and you may notice that some of them even have subtitles. Now although this is a product from GMA, it's not limited to only their channels. Here's the list of channels it found. Now of course this will vary depending on your area. Not all of the Philippines has digital TV and some areas have more channels than others. But we could load for example channel 5 you'll see that's working just fine. If you're wondering why there's cartoons, it's early morning, so it's children's time. We can actually go to DepEd TV. And of course here, you typically find more educational content for children. So there's a lot of channels from various networks. It's not limited to just GMA channels. Here's UN TV. It's a little bit slow to load. In fact, it hasn't opened because I don't have a good signal. But if we move this around a bit, there we go. If you position the phone and the antenna in just the right spot, you can get a signal. That's why I said, take this outside when you're scanning for channels, because once you come inside, you can move it around and get it in a position where you can receive the channel. But if you scan inside and the signal is too weak, it just won't add it to your list and you'll never be able to watch it. And there's actually another tip I want to give you about this antenna. Let's say I want to watch this channel IBC 13. You can see we don't have a signal, but we can actually improve our chances of getting that channel. If I go on Wikipedia, I can find a list of all the channels in the Philippines and specifically the frequency that they broadcast on. I can take that frequency, put it into a WIP antenna calculator, and you'll see it tells me the half wavelength for that specific frequency is 10.3 inches. So I'll straighten out the antenna and then I'm going to measure 10.3 inches from the base to the end. Now I know this isn't the best angle, but just trust me, I'm going to set it to 10.3 inches on my ruler here. And watch what happens. We have a signal See that? Now it looks like right now IBC 13 are also broadcasting DEP ed but just by adjusting the length of the antenna, if I make it full length again, you'll see we're still on IBC 13, full length antenna, no signal. Or look, we got like, what did we get? A few blocks, <laughs> but obviously that's not a usable signal. You can see it's just frozen. But if we put it back to 10.3 inches, doesn't have to be like 100% exact, but get it as close as possible. And ta-da, we have a perfect signal again. Now, I'm not promising that this is gonna work miracles, that it's gonna get you every channel perfectly, but adjusting the antenna can make a difference. So I've told you the good things about this dongle. What are some of the bad things? Well, first of all, it's only going to work on Android no iPhone support and even compatibility on Android it can be a bit hit and miss. The next thing is when it's plugged into your cell phone you can't charge your phone anymore because you've occupied the charge port. If you have a wirelessly charging phone maybe you could charge it and watch at the same time but I haven't tested it. Of course your phone does need to support OTG to work with this. Now, although you don't need an internet connection to watch TV, you do need a connection to install the application and register. And if you read the terms and conditions, it basically says that they may share your personal information with their business partners, 
advertisers, vendors. So whatever you put in here, it may be shared around a few different places. Now, the other thing is that GMA did not actually make this product. This was an existing product which they rebranded and made their own app. The problem with that is it's not as good as the original because on the original, you can record live TV. GMA, they don't let you record. They don't even let you take a screenshot. They've actually blocked screenshots. And the thing is, the original one is only like an extra 150 pesos. So if you're willing to spend just a little bit more, you can get the original one of this from the manufacturer and you can use their app and it's much, much better. Now, I actually spoke to the manufacturer and asked them, can you make this work in your app? Because the only reason it doesn't work is when this connects to your cell phone, it sends a device ID. And because they changed the device ID in the GMA one, it doesn't work with the original app. Unfortunately, they refused to do it. So overall, I'd say it's a pretty cool product and some people might be interested in this. The price is okay. It's not the cheapest we've seen because you may remember that my phone released one for 400 pesos. ABS-CBN also released one. Now, if you were to ask me which TV dongle should I buy, I would actually tell you none of them because there's a local company who will soon be launching a Wi-Fi version. So it won't matter if you're on Android or iPhone. It won't matter if you're indoors because you can place the unit by a window and then wirelessly watch your digital TV. So really, these are gonna be old news very soon. For now, they're okay, like they're useful for a backup. If your internet is always going out, maybe you'd be interested in one of these, so at least you can still watch TV. But if you can wait a little bit longer, you might like the Wi-Fi version. Actually, you can already buy them here in the Philippines on Shopee for around 1,300 pesos. But this local company is aiming for a lower price, a subsidized price. So if you can wait, probably that's your best bet. So that was just a quick video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will try to help you. Thanks for watching.